Hey, what's up, developer here, and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, what we are going to do is to create soft shadows inside of 3ds Max. So, what I got here is an example of the soft shadows that create mental ray inside of 3ds Max. But we can also do it with well, this is the well, this is the custom dome that you create with lights, and the result is pretty bad. Also, we got the default without any shadows. This is the default 3ds Max without any shadows. Here we have the light tracer that it's that it gives it a nice soft shadow inside of everything. And here we have the mental ray default without any shadows. And this is the final product. So uh, let's go inside of 3ds Max. I'm using this version of right here. And let's load our default right here. So now I'm going to render to show you. This is the default. You can see that it's pretty bad, no shadows so or nothing. So what we're going to do is to come and I will show you the light tracer right here and we're going to select render. This is the like the best Result if you don't want to use mental ray, but I'm going to show you how to do it. First, I'm going to open the default again. Now I don't want to say this. Let's put it right here. So what you want to do is to go into the lights and you're going to change from photometric to standard, and then you are gonna select skylight and you're gonna create it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to write it right there. And on the multiplier, I'm going to set 0.8. This will depend of how bright you want your your, your render. And now let's hit the render to see how it, it looks. And just with we put in that light, you can see that it start creating the subtract. The thing is, if that when you put the light in, if you render the shadows doesn't appear. It's maybe because you need to go to render and then into the light tracer and you must know, you must see that the active check mark is on OK and let's go to render, let's see, let's cancel it right there and here you have the settings, these are the super sampling and all that stuff, all that stuff, what we are going to do is nothing right now. now let's take a look at the custom dome is this no I don't want to say this is this one of right here what you can see that is that I create multiple lights to create like a dome uh, the thing is with the dome that it result it has great results but the thing is that because we have two objects right here uh, the result is going to be pretty bad. So let's render to see. It's going to the preferred line. And, and it renders really fast, but the thing is that we have two objects right here and we want to do it for one single object. So let's hit F4. Okay. And I'm going to delete one object. F3. And press H. So here we have all the list of the lights we're going to select them okay so i select them and i'm going to go to move i'm going to put it right here and i'm gonna scale the shape really 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 small right here is okay and I'm going to lower a little bit. Let's see if it's not touching the ground right here. And let's make a test. Render. It's going to prepare the light. And now it's render. Uh, right now the result is like I don't know. It's really weird. So what I'm going to do is scale the shape. I think I messed everything up right here. And I'm going to do it higher. Let's see this view of right here. Yeah. But I will show you how to do this, so we're going to render again. Oh, no, I don't want to save this. And I'm going to go into light. 
lights and then into all well i don't know why it is doing that maybe because i created too much light for one single object but i will show you how to do it so we're going to go into the default no i don't want to say this and i'm going to go into lights and then into omni and then going to put it right here let's see up 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 right here and let's see shadows on i want shadow map and what, I go, what I'm going to do is to take one and I'm going to duplicate it to right here and I want an instance of the light and now I'm going to move this one to right here I'm going to select both of the lights I'm going to go into ret rotate tool and snap rotation and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees and also I want an instance I'm gonna select them, rotate them, duplicate it, okay, instance, and let's put right here H. I'm gonna select all the lights without this one, okay. I'm gonna to scale it up, a little bit more, and I could, I will put them down. I'm gonna do duplicate them, okay. I'm gonna rotate them. Duplicate it again, instance, rotate them again, and scale them and i will do another one right here okay scale them right and let's take and render you can see that it's pretty slow and let's hit render so depending of how you set this up you can get a nice result of this thing of right here and i prefer either the light tracer or the mental ray version so I'm going to show you the mental ray I'm going to right here and here we have mental ray no I don't want to say this and we're going to make a render so you can see that mental ray is pretty fast but I set at this resolution because uh, we are in a tutorial right now and we won't spend, uh, take too much time so you can hear that result is pretty good and what we're going to do is to go into default and going to go into materials pressing the M key here you can see three materials I'm going to scale them and what I need right here is let's see two materials where do is I'm going to rendering I'm going to go into render set setup let's just scale it down the window and we're gonna search for assign render and here mental ray this one Nvidia don't don't take a look at that because I have the Nvidia card and it will show me that okay now let's M again and here we have our mental ray material and we're gonna create arc and design one two and three and what you're going to do is to take this color of right here and select this one okay now this right here okay and lastly this one of right here and okay so here we have our two materials we're going to delete this one and we're going to focus on this of right here we're going to to select the object and the material and assign material now let's go with the red guy and the red material 
Ok, and lastly the floor. Ok, so here we have right now our mental ray and let's render. You can see that it's a pretty bright light. Let's press H and let's see, ok. And I'm going to go into systems, no, systems, systems, and I'm going to create a daylight, and I'm going to do it right here, so that's ok, and we are going to go into, in the sunlight, we are going to select mental ray sun, in the skyline, mental ray sky, let's make a test right here. I think it's going to be pretty pretty bright, you can see it. And then we're going to go into rendering, rendering, export to your control. And we are going to render preview. It's going to be very fast. And in the preset, I'm going to select uh, outdoor, outdoor daylight. Let's take a look. Well, it's pretty bad in the image right now, and I don't know why, but let's. So, uh, I looked for, and I was looking that I have active, and I put it a 15 exposure value, and I'm going to select render again. And you can see that right now it is rendered great. But we are going to cancel this and we're going to go into maps again. Let's put this up and we're going to go into the map. And in a special effects, we are going to search for ambient occlusion. And let's max distance, more samples. And I think that's good. And let's render. Uh, you won't be able to see them, but let's cancel this and let's go into region and I want to zoom this one and I'm going to disable and render again just for that section. And if you can see right here, it's pretty dark, uh, different from this part of right here. They're going to apply it to the, to the guy right here also. Material, material, okay. Let's search for special effects and an occlusion. Uh, that's great. And let's hit render again. And let's take this out. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, it's pretty dark in the edges, like from right here. Well, that's everything. My name is Diego Lopez, and I hope you like my video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe to my channel. i see you later.